eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In 1946, the United States military decided the Bikini Atoll in the Marshall Islands would be a good place to test American nuclear bombs. The Americans convinced the people of Bikini Atoll to leave their ancestral homeland for the good of mankind. A Bikini elder said, we agreed to go along with whatever our leaders decided. The Navy placed pigs, goats, guinea pigs, and thousands of rodents on a ship inside Bikini Atoll. Scientists wanted to see how radiation affected living animals. Abel, the first bomb, exploded over Bikini Atoll on July 1, 1946. The Admiral in charge promised it will not blow out the bottom of the sea or destroy gravity. Three weeks later, the U.S. detonated Baker, the world's first underwater atomic bomb in the waters of Bikini Atoll. Reporters said the sight was so fantastic that men's emotions burst from their throats in wild shouts. The U.S. exploded Bravo, its largest ever nuclear bomb, on Bikini on March 4, 1954. But the military failed to evacuate the people of nearby Rongelap Atoll. Radioactive ash fell over the entire atoll of Rongelap. The Rongelap Islanders received nearly nine times more radiation in just a few hours than most people receive in a lifetime. The total yield of the 67 nuclear tests in the Marshall Islands equaled more than 1.6 Hiroshima-sized bombs per day for the 12-year program. The mayor of Rongelap said, the United States has treated us like animals in a scientific experiment for their studies. More than half a century later, the people of Bikini and Rongelap continue to seek compensation from the U.S. for medical care and for the loss of their ancestral homelands. Bombs Over Bikini by Connie Goldsmith, a junior library guild selection for ages 10 and up.